Today I want to talk to you about some tips and tricks that I found were really helpful so that you can use your Michaels Loops and Threads Quick Knits Circular Knitting Machine. This is the 40 pin circular knitting machine that Michaels makes. I did a review and demonstration video earlier that I can link in the description box below. And I'll be honest, my review of this machine is not stellar. But by using some of these tips and tricks, it'll hopefully make your experience with this knitting machine a lot better. Let's get into it. 40 pin knitting machine. If you look down carefully, just so you know how it works, you can see numbers on the pins here, and that represents the number pin that you're on or number needle that you're on. So you have number one is the first black pin or the only black pin on this machine. That's your number one. Because the black pin can be hard to see when you're knitting, I went ahead and marked that first between white portion with a Sharpie pen, just with black, just so that when I'm knitting around, I can more easily see the black pin. It does start to rub off after a while, so just simply take your Sharpie pen and color on top black so that you can more easily identify right before where your first pin, pin number one, which is your first black pin, begins. So I just mark it like that, simple. It does come off eventually, but that's okay. It does stay a while. And now you can more easily identify where it is. Some of my biggest criticisms with this machine was the fact that there's no way to clamp it down onto the table or something. It did come with these suction cups, but they weren't very good. What I did instead was cut these command strips and taped it into the bottom of the feet. And I got this plastic tray that you can find at any sort of storage container type store, Walmart, find one that fits your machine. And I just can click it now to that piece so it has a little more stable of a base for the machine. Now it doesn't hold it down to the table, but unfortunately I don't have those situations where I can just clamp it directly to the table or screw it into the table. If you have that ability where you have a spare table and you can do that, I would recommend you go ahead and just either drill or something permanently attach it to your table to have a much more stable base for me because I need a more mobile situation. I just use this tray table, then I can just hold the tray itself while I'm knitting around and that creates a much more stable base for me. Not perfect, but better. The other criticism I had with this machine is the fact that it has no row counter with it. What I've done is purchased a few of these magnets here. And the reason I purchased a few is because I can use my row, digital row counter across several of my knitting machines, like the Centro 40 pin and the Centro 48 because the row counter on that has gone bad. This item is quite simple to use, pretty cheap. It just uses a battery here. Just connect the wires, pretty easy to turn it on. You just hold and press this button for a couple seconds. It keeps your row count from the last time you used it, which is really useful to reset it. You push this button for a couple seconds and it resets it to zero. I have used command strips so that I can attach it to my machine. And I did that with all my machines so that I can transfer it from machine to machine. And then this is the actual counter piece here that reads the magnet to count it attached to the side. So you can see when it passes this magnet, it'll count it. And you'll crank around and it counts one row. When you get all the way to the other side, you'll see the magnet coming around again, it'll go to two and it goes the other way too. So if you were to crank the opposite way, it goes three, you can see here four or five and it's a great way to keep track of your count or if you uh, want to use it on another machine you can transfer it to another machine just by using these command strips reset it by pushing this button goes to zero and turn it off holding it a couple seconds really simple easy to use pretty cheap these magnets as well i got a pack of these and you can transfer it from machine to machine or glue them i just use a hot glue gun to stick it onto these little pin, uh, the sides here. The, tips. the other nice thing about this, it is compatible with items that the Centro 40 is, uh, has. It's basically the same size handle. So if you wanted to do the power adapter, it's the same exact power adapter that you can use with the Centro. It fits perfectly over the handle. You just put it right over the top of it. No construction needed. And then this electric screwdriver is the same one I use on all of my knitting machines. You just attach it to the side here and press go and it knits really quickly, but not too quick because if you use an actual drill, you might melt the handle to your machine and that would be really bad for your machine. So the electric screwdriver has just enough speed to keep it going, but it's not any faster than hand cracking it, cranking it, for example. Two uh, big criticism I had with this machine was the fact that 
The yarn I was using was not working at all on this machine. It kept dropping and tucking stitches. That is still a problem with this machine. And the only fix I have found is to use a lighter weight yarn. A three weight is probably the best for this machine. Worsted weight, it's really hard to find just the right worsted weight that's gonna work with this machine because most of them are gonna be a little too thick or fuzzy to allow this knitting machine to really properly pick them up and put them in there and to avoid the dropped and tucked stitches. I just try to use a three weight, sometimes Karen Simply Soft, or I Love This Yarn works. Not all of them do, but most of those I have found do work and those are worsted weight yarns. So I would try those yarns if anything. Otherwise, my other criticisms were just the cost of it. And I, you know, you can't really help with that unless you can find a deal on this. Maybe you can find it on Facebook Marketplace for cheaper. Somebody told me they found theirs for like 20 bucks. That's a great deal. Definitely worth getting it for 20 bucks. I would probably get 30, even 40 bucks. I would definitely get it because that's a lot cheaper than its listed price of around $90. So I hope you enjoyed all these tips and tricks to the Quick Knits Loops and Threads Knitting Machine by Michaels 40 Pin. Enjoy your machine. I enjoy mine even though it was a bit expensive. Thanks for watching.